So we'll start with a short discussion about what is the purpose of yoga. Now yoga has many purposes. The purpose could be for a person who's seeking enlightenment, a person who wants to leave the world, the person who's engaged in life, the mother who's taking care of children, a, a person who's involved in education, setting up businesses. So we'll talk about the person of uh, who is intimately engaged with life, taking on challenges, what is the purpose of yoga and what can yoga do for such a person who has everyday life challenges. So in life we are taking a series of journeys. The journey could be educating ourselves, establishing a business, taking care of children, having relationships that are healthy and good, setting up a house, running a house, any of these journeys. And yoga helps in these journeys. So when you take a journey, you have some outcome in mind, some fruit in mind, and you expend some fuel to take the journey. So you use up some karma to run the journey. In the process of journey, you accumulate some residue. Some of this residue could be very useful, and it's an unexpected benefit of the journey. And some of the residue could be very toxic. So the purpose of the yoga is to take a journey with the least amount of effort, least amount of karma, with the maximum amount of fruit, the outcome being what you want, and with the least amount of toxic residue that you accumulate on the way. So that is the purpose of yoga. Now yoga becomes especially useful when the resources are limited. If you have unlimited resources, you waste resources, it's not that important. If you have a lot of time, if you have a whole day, and all you have to do is to make a bowl of oatmeal, then you don't need yoga. Yoga is needed where you have a lot of things to do, your resources are limited, your effort has to be conserved, things, resources are limited, fuel is limited, time is limited, money is limited, energy is limited. That's where yoga becomes extremely important and in today's societies, where that is the case, yoga becomes especially important. So very quickly, to take the journey with the least amount of karma, least fuel, maximum outcome, and least amount of toxic residue. So that is the purpose of yoga. And we'll discuss later in other short clips, uh, other discussions, how yoga accomplishes it.